Hello and welcome to Whiskey Resource. My name is Mark. This is Blind Dram Challenge number two, set by Omar of the Black Barrel Sippers Club. So, um, Dram A, um, I submitted that to Omar. My initial thoughts were that it was something um, maybe Bimba, maybe um, Daft Mill. In the end, I kind of couldn't work out whether or not it was a, a Bimba or a Deanston uh, Virgin Oak, which is kind of what I went with. Uh, so I submitted that to, to Omar and he came back and he said it was a Octotian American Oak. So not too far, not too far off there, although that is a 40% ABV. I kind of went with a 46.3 being Deanston's normal, normal strength things. Now, I quite liked it. I quite like that Octotian American Oak. I've not tried it before, so um, I will be looking to to try some of that. Um, and so we've gotten. So this is um, Dram B. As you can see, I've just poured it. I haven't tried that one before. And straight to it, and we'll see what uh, Dram B is. So on the nose, this is. It's a bit aromatic, a little aromatic. Floral, malt, vanilla, honey, citrus notes. I think this is another bourbon, ex-bourbon maturation. Maybe a first fill ex-bourbon maturation. The nose isn't really given much alcohol, so initial nose would say it's 40%. Yeah, it's not, it's not giving me any clues on the palate. It's a little oily. The alcohol is a little bit more present than it was on the nose, but I'm still gonna say it's around about 40%, 40, 43%. There's a bit of oak. That honey's there and the vanilla's there on the palate. There's some grassy notes, hay notes going on there. It's a scotch. Again, I feel like I've had this before. This is familiar. But there's nothing uniquely distinct about it. At this point, I'd like to just pause the video and deliberate. But I can't really edit clips together. My laptop's so old, it doesn't let me do that. So I have to come up with a snap decision as to what I think this could be. So apologize for a few minutes of uh, possible nothing happening other than me going, mm, yeah, mm. I want to say it's a spare side. I think I'm going with what I said the barrel finish was in that I think it's uh, maybe a ex bourbon matured first fill. Kind of got a, a black tea quality to it. I 
Hmm. I definitely feel like I've had something like this before. I'd say it's a non-age statement. Again, probably around about eight year old. Space side. Just ex bourbon maturation. Hmm. I need some influences and some names because just going off this with no names isn't really helping. So I'm just going to look at some whiskey names just to give us an idea as to what I think it could be because this is not really, it's not a blend, it's a single malt. Yeah. Not knowing what some of these whiskies are in relation to cask maturation. I want to say it's something like Cardew, maybe Cardew Gold. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to go with that. I don't know whether Cardew Gold is a sherry maturation. Gold. Gold reserve. Toasted oak casks. That's what we'll go with. Cardio gold reserve. Don't know. Later.